how many subsets are there. So eight subsets are there. You have to check that first. Then you start working on that. How many subsets are there? Suppose the uh, set itself is given as P, Q, and R. So let's begin as uh, J1. J1 we can make subset as P, Q, R because the set itself is subset. Now if I call as a J2, my second subset, I can call P, Q. And uh, J3, this is my third subset. I can write Q, R. Uh, J4, my fourth subset, I can write PR. J5, fifth subset. Um, fifth subset or anything, any combination you can create. What is your suggestion? Yes, Ranjan. Okay, just a minute. Uh, sir yes yeah so I don't think there are any more subsets available so you can just write that uh, circle with that cross mark to show that that set has nothing in it mm -hmm. oh, yeah. so that means... Just let me let me unmute everybody okay Okay, sir. Okay, there's a class also has joined. Okay. You're saying there will be a null subset. Uh, sir, you can uh, just put one element, right? Yes, actually, I was stuck, going to talk about that. Only. Oh, yeah. Okay, now the sixth one is my B. J7, seven, seven subset, two, and the eighth one is R. So you can see there should have eight subset as this is the form that is two to the power n. It's an n is a number of element. N means uh, number of element. Okay. So there are eight subset. So this is our problem number three A. List all the subset. Now, last we have already discussed what is proper subset. So, anyone can volunteer what is proper subset? Anyone can volunteer? Anyone? Okay. Uh, sir? Yeah, Arya. Sir, the proper subsets of uh, J are j2 j3 j4 j6 j7 and j8 so okay okay just a minute let me mark it uh, again j2 j2 j3 j4 j4 j6 j6 j7 yes and j8 j8 so that will be the proper subset of j right yes yes sir Proper subset means it has to be uh, lesser values than the set, right? So okay, now let it let take it let's take it forward to the next part of the problem. Okay, now the problem is uh, state whether each of the following statement is true or false. Okay, quickly quickly I'll take uh, your opinion. What is true and false? I, if you have idea i think uh, in the class class you can hear me yes sir no i think if somebody has joined from class i think that is that sound is not coming anyway okay fine so let's let's begin let's begin with that part so yeah, my, hello hello no yeah, sir can you hear me yes yes sir i can hear you uh, sorry the class there are six uh, students okay Thank you. So it stated whether the, each of the following statement is true or false. Okay, we are going to check that what the statements are going to be true and false. Okay, now Algeria and Mozambique is their countries in Africa. Is it true or false? Is this countries in Africa? 
first question true okay. and this is a subset of countries of africa yes yes okay. true. true uh yeah true okay. now mango and banana this is a subset of fruit mango and banana are fruits or not that's true. the second question. yes true so true so true Okay, one, two, three, four. There are four values. This subset of one, two, three, four. Is it true? True. True. One, two, three, four is a proper subset of one, two, three, four. False. 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 Volleyball and basketball is a team sport. Is it true or false? That is not a subset. It's not false. 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 Now, four, six, eight, ten. There are the four uh, even number, which is not a proper subset of four, six, eight, ten. True. Yeah, true. Now, potatoes and carrot, carrot are vegetables or not? True. Or not? True. 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 Okay, 12, 13, 14, and 15 is not a proper subset of whole number. False. 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 Yes. Great. So, we have answered all the questions. Now, let's take it to the next part of it, that is universal set. You can also keep a note, okay? Universal, universal set, which uh, already we have discussed, so let directly go to the uh, part that how universal set is going to work. Universal set means um, this this one we are denoting by xi. Okay, xi. So it has all the values. When you are taking a, a large number of values into a set, and you are creating multiple sets, small sets from it. So this one is called universal set. Okay, now one more important thing you need to know about the set that is complement. Now complement, what is complement? Complement of a set. Okay, now complement of a set, it, it should have uh, the values. Now there are a few notation for complement. Suppose A is a set, okay, I'm taking this example itself. Okay, if A is a set, it can be written as a power c as complement or a dash both meaning are same okay if it is it is power as c that is also complement a dash also complement okay now a value which is if, if i am going to consider one two three four five that is from the universal set and that means a is a subset of this universal set xi right do you agree with me now if you're going to get what is the complement that means a uh, c or you can say complement that means except this value okay again i'm i'm uh, i'm writing over here what is the meaning of that um except these values except these values okay what are the other values like one two three four five are already there so i'll cancel this Except these values, whatever is remaining, that will be your complement. Okay, is that clear? What is the meaning of complement? Yes, then the values which are not the values which are not in the subset. Okay, now for okay, I understood you. Uh, if you're getting confused, let me. Um, make a diagram. So it will be suppose I'm going to create a diagram that is um, This is the diagram and this one this space this rectangular space is denoted by xi Okay Now this uh, in this one in this example itself if I'm going to take a is a set so uh, a is inside the this universal set xi What are the element of a? One, two, three, four, and five. And what are the other elements of the xi set? Xi has one, two, three, four, five, and it has other values also like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, these other values are there. Do you agree? So complement means complement if it is given an a dash or a complement, that means except this of those values means you are not going to take this value except these values if you take some other values so rest of the values will be considered as complements 
okay and these values which are the rest of the values i am talking about is not coming from outside of this universal set it should be taken from universal set okay i mean that if i am going to i am suppose i am going to take these values as 11 12 and 13 that i can't consider because this these elements are not belongs to my universal set so whenever you're going to find something it is respect to that means if i'm going to talk about any anything like with respect to what if i say that if i say that we have we have uh, more students this year we have more students in grade 9 this year so i'm comparing with something right that means with my previous year so if you do not have this universal set you cannot uh, take it forward okay it is not like if I say in grade 9 we have uh, uh, more students that means you are not going to consider if you are going to if you are going to uh, take it as another way like uh, under consideration that you are not going to compare this grade 9 with other grades when you talk about that this grade has more students that means you are comparing of the same grade but different years any question? No. Okay. So, okay. Now, uh, see, the, uh, here also it has written the other example that if xi is a all 3D shape, all 3D shape, and P is the prism, if you're going to find complement all 3D shape except prism, except prism. Except prism, whatever is there, that will be considered as complement. Okay? Clear? Yes. Is that clear? Okay. Fine. So, next one is set notation and Venn diagram. Like, I just drawn one diagram previously. That is, is also called a Venn diagram. Venn diagram means it's pictorial form of set. Okay. Now you can just check that how this one is working. So a two, four, six, eight, ten get represented in a circle. Okay. And uh, thereafter there are there are another two circles also has been shown over here. So what does it mean? What does it mean? So there are two set. That means this means first one is means um, there are two set. One is P. P as a value, let it like three, nine, six, 15, 12. So if I put in order, so I'll get three, six, nine, uh, 12, 15, and 18. Now, if I'm going to find what is the value of, what is the set Q? So I'll consider uh, set Q as uh, two, six, 12, eight, because it is also in same area. So if I write two, four, six, eight, uh 10 and 12. anything i have missed out two four six eight ten and twelve now if i say this one this one is a table of three right and this one is a table of two but they have a common value six and twelve so if i'm going to say common that means we are using intersection this symbol is called intersection now I'm going to going to give you some sim other symbol as well, intersection and union. So intersection is a common value. It's a common value. Okay. Intersection means, so in this particular example, so P intersection means it is 6, 12. Okay. Now, if you consider some other example, then what will be its union? Union is a U, P union Q. So P union Q, that means all the values are together. Union means together. 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 10, 12, uh, 15, 18. Okay, I think I put it in everything. Anything I missed out? Okay, now question again arises that when you are considering P, you are writing 6 and 12. And when you're writing Q, then of that time also 6 and 12, why you are not repeating the value? Okay? Because the elements are same, it will be counted only once. Okay? Because the elements are same. So, 
six and six two times you are not going to consider it's a single individual or you can say independent element so that's why you will put it as a one time only so two things i said one is uh, union 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 symbol is this intersection intersection symbol is this just opposite of you intersection means common value union means all value together okay few more symbol also we have learned here that is uh, how to represent universal set universal set uh, we represent with xi right okay now we have understood how to uh, represent null set null set we are using phi okay we uh, again we have understood that what is this is called belongs to right belongs to and definitely this is not belongs to yes ranjan what am okay sorry this lost connection oh sir i just raised my hand so that you could unmute me yeah, i yeah. got disconnected yeah yeah just sorry yeah so there are two things in the section union of different set okay uh okay uh, next is a subset and those things already we know let's let's begin with the exercise problem and check it out that how it is working okay now this one is uh, another uh, set of values okay so let's directly go to the exercise problem so it will be give us give us an uh, understanding that how it is working uh, first one is using the venn diagram left side indicate whether uh, following statement are true or false meaning this is meaning belongs to is an element of and next meaning is not element and not belongs to okay so let's begin let's begin with uh, with answer okay five belongs to a where is a set here five is here five belongs to a. is it true or false true 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 an element 20 belongs to b 20 is here 20 is here true so, true true yes 20 not belongs to a 20 is here false. is here false false 50 belongs to a false uh, false here. false 50 not belongs to b false false a intersection b intersection means what what i said uh in both a and b in both a and b the common element is 10 and 20 is it true true okay. complete the statement a intersection b okay complete the statement a intersection b what is the a intersection b for first one a 4 comma 6 4 and 6 4 comma 6 i'm right taking directly over here and now part b what is the 4 comma 9 4 and 9 4 oh, and 9 what is the uh, part c yellow yellow green. and green yellow and green okay anyone have any question any doubt no sir no yes, sir okay let's let's begin with now problem 3 Now the same thing. What is above question to the uh, Venn diagram is given. You have to answer from there. Okay, I would suggest the three and four. You try by yourself. You try by yourself. There, you take too many time. Thereafter, again we'll discuss. Okay, let's start. So, what is the answer for A union B? For oh, A and B, uh, for A it is what, uh, four and six. No, A and B means all the value together. So two, four. Two, oh wait, wait, three, wait. Two, four, four, six, ten, eight, eighteen, three, thirteen, and nine. Eight, nine. Okay, two, three, four. Say eighteen. Uh, four. Two, three, four. Six, eight, thirteen, nine, ten, thirteen, thirteen and eighteen. Thirteen and eighteen. Okay, next one is the uh, okay, Ananya, you draw part B. 
What is the answer for part B? Um, so one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and sixteen. Can you please repeat. One, one four, five. Uh, four, five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. And sixteen. Sixteen. So one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and sixteen. Great. Okay. So main diagram in equation two. Now the last one. Last one you have. You are, that is a. You okay, have to write all the color like red, orange, blue, indigo, violet, yellow, green, purple, pink. Now this one, when it is a or any word thing, that time you are not. If you don't maintain order, it is fine. But when you are writing number, try to maintain order as a least to greatest. Okay, it's a suggestion. It is not like that. If you don't write it, you will be wrong. It is not like that. But it's a suggestion. Now problem number four. Copy and complete the following statement. First is Zai. Zai, what is that? Uh, if I'm going to um, I'm going to find out 4a, what will be the answer for 4a? 4a. I think this color is not visible, so let's change the color. 4a. So 4a first is xi. So xi is a set of what? That is called. What is the name of? Uh, what is the meaning of xi? Yes, Arya. What's the meaning of xi? Uh, Zai is the uh, the whole set, so yeah. the complete set. In the terminology, set terminology, we call them what? Uh, universal set. We call it as oh, okay. Universal. universal set. Okay. Now tell me what is Zai? Uh, A B P Q R S and T. P Q R S and T. Okay. Now this is done. Now part B. What is a complement? What is a complement? Uh, serve me. Yeah. Uh, a and B. A and B. Great. So you understood that a complement means except a rest of the part. So that means only two things are remaining. So a and B. This is the answer. Good. Very good. So we're taking it to the next part. Okay, now problem five onwards. There are there are same. Sorry. Sorry, some problems. Okay, now problem five onwards, you can see there are so many uh, terminologies you can, it is visible to you. So you can just start problem five and six. I would suggest that solve all question of problem five and uh, all question of problem six. Okay, quickly solve it and randomly we'll pick one or two questions and we'll discuss. Uh, okay. 5A. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Size means all the values which is in this uh, rectangular space. So including the set A and B, all the values you have to write. Now A complement means, okay, now part B. I'm picking up part B, A complement. A complement means you can see except A rest of the part. So if I cancel this one, so the rest of the parts I'm getting one, four, six, eight. Okay. Okay. Now I will go to problem number E. Okay. Ranjan, Ranjan, you share for problem number E. Ah, yes, sir. So for problem number E, okay. it's the complement for the, the A that symbol B. So intersection. Intersection. Is so all the all the numbers except for two and three. All the number I so one, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Everyone agree, or anyone have any question? Okay, now I'm going to randomly picking a question number, uh, problem number six. 
six. Okay, and then now, problem number six, A2. What will be the set B? Uh, yes, sir. Um, B will be the multiples of three between three and 15. Mm -hmm. So what will be the answer for part B? So B will be set of three. So it's just describe in words. So Okay, sorry, sorry, describe in words. So multiple of, uh, just to make, let me erase this. So I'll just say, what do you say? Repeat. Multiples of three between three and 15. Between three and 15. Okay, so that is between three and 15. Okay, now to Renee only, uh, I'd like to get the answer for part B, problem number three and problem number four. What will be problem number three from this? So should I answer? Yeah. Um, uh, for this B third one, um, I got 12. B intersection C. So B intersection C got 12. Or any number? Or just 12? Just 12. Very good. Now we'll go for problem number 4. I got 12 again. I got 12 again. Good. And now I'll go to Ranjan for problem number six. Part B six. Ah, uh, yes. So C union B. Okay. Um uh, I forgot the meaning of that. Union. union means all together, all together values. Union oh, oh, okay, okay. So Three. then that that will be uh, four, no, three, four, eight, nine, fifteen, sixteen, and twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Three, four, six, eight, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, twenty. See if I missed anything. Three, four, six, eight, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, twenty. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. So let's take to the let's go to the next part of this exercise. Uh, this one also there. So state problem number seven, problem number eight. So yes, and then you have to say something. No, sir. Okay. Okay. Now, next problem, problem number seven. You are going to solve problem seven. Solve for problem uh, problem number seven, A part three. What is C complement? What is C complement? Anyone? Uh, sir? Yep. C complement is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, and 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, and 9. That means it's a three rest of the part. Okay, great. So we have already learned that how to do this kind of uh, problems and how to get the complement, how to get union, how to get intersection, and uh, even universal set. Okay. So let I would like to um, start the next part that is problem exercise 10.4 but in, in between we'll take 10 minutes break okay there after next class we'll start so in the next class we'll we'll start with exercise 10.4 okay if you want you can